What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of C-Dub Empires. Clockwork Empires, that is. Uh, my name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we start a colony on a new world with beetles the size of bulldogs. Good lord, that's a large beetle. I don't know what I would do if I saw that thing in my house. Probably just shit myself repeatedly and just scream. Yeah! I don't know how to deal with stuff like that. We need to assign somebody over here. So who good at cooking? Ain't nobody good at cooking. Man. All right, well, then I suppose it's A. Thatch's turn. What we'll need to do is I wanted to move some people around. So Thatch is going to need help over here. Bare minimum help. We'll go ahead and we'll pull two people off of here. And inside the kitchen, we're going to assign those two workers so there's one person on each oven. We'll wait to assign the fourth until we get our next crop of immigrants. But the next thing we need to do is we need to assign what each of these ovens are going to be producing. My suggestion would be that you do maize chowder. And I would stock this up and say that we need to have 30 of it at all times for right now. And I'll adjust that number as time permits. The second one, we can make sausages, or we can make farmer stew, or we can make cooked meat. Oh, this one is for... It's a basic food, a bushel of sausages. Yeah, go ahead, and actually the second one will be maize chowder as well, because we have so many more workers, or we will have so many more workers. And then this one right here, be careful, you do have to make food specifically for overseers, so farmer stew will be that one right there. And we'll just go ahead and we'll even all those out. And that'll be, oh, I forgot to click that. That button right there is what makes it a standing order versus producing a limited amount. There we go. Perfect. And so we should see some people move over here very, very shortly. Now what this means is that our general purpose stuff is going to be a little bit slower due to the fact that we just reassigned some of our workers. But it should be all right. Now the next thing we want to build for ourselves is going to be a kiln. If we don't have bricks, we can't build middle class housing. And if we can't build middle class housing, that means that we can't get our hands on new overseers. And at a certain point, you're just going to need overseers. And that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a ceramics place done. Unfortunately, that's going to take us a bunch of planks to finish off because it took planks to build this. But it'll get done at one point or another. At the moment... Oh, it doesn't show you what's in every stockpile. It shows you just what's in the one that you clicked. Okay. All right, that's fine. We still got 13 stone. We still got some stuff around. A lot of our stuff has not been stockpiled yet either. And so I don't think it's going to be anything to worry about for the next little bit. On this side, we've got bushels of maize. They're about to harvest, but they're taking a little break right now. Let's take a general look at how people are doing in our colony. So, working outdoors is unfortunate. Do you not like working outdoors? Foolishly brave. Less likely to retreat in combat when in mortal danger. Less afraid of weird things. This rugged daredevil is happy to leap into danger and always bracing for a good fight and giving them a quick taste of the old fist. She's a fighting lady. I like that. I find that sexy. I like Amazonian women that know how to throw hands. I don't know what it is, but like when your ladies like fisticuffs, I don't know. It's a turn on. I think it's, it's got to be something that shows like viable survivability or something like that. I can't tell you what it means for me personally, evolutionarily, but I'm like, yeah, she seems like a good mother for my children. See, I, and I know that's not the case. You can't have a mom that's getting in fights and shit all the time. But for some reason, something deep down inside of me, the fact that she's able to get into fights and, like, throw hands, it makes me feel like perhaps her offspring will be more viable because she's more willing to protect him or something. I don't know. I can't explain it. Something happens in my lizard brain that I can't explain to all of you right now. Don't look at me like that. Don't judge. Don't judge. Having an extra person in the carpentry workshop would be nice, but I'm going to wait until we get more immigrants, in all fairness. I, I need more people around here to help us out with stuff. Uh, the cornfields are doing their thing right now. It looks like they've already gone through and they've converted that into laborer food. Very, very nice. And then on this side, we got the sphalerite. They're starting to haul some things and move some stuff around. I don't know if this is my... Ooh, disturbance is 10. That's not good. Your disturbance goes up as you build more buildings because you're disturbing the island. It doesn't like the fact that you're there. Unusual weather. The sun shines brightly, increasing our crop. Oh, we already have that, though. So it's only been like one day. I thought it had been a lot. This guy seems a little agitated. Quality of life. He's well fed. The universe seems bent on killing this person. What's the use? This person is just going to die. <laughs> He's a big game hunter. He's a pioneering spirit. Oh, man. Feels like his safety is ignored. And then he's also enraged because his safety is being ignored. Okay, let's get to work. We'll build a barracks then so that people will stop being so salty about the fact that nobody's looking after them. Another autosave down. And now what we'll try to do... I'm just going to put in like a little barracks right here. Just a small barracks, not a big one. Just a place for our soldiers to be so that we can assign our overseers to guard duty. 
Immigrants arrive. Even better. Uh, we got four more laborers. That's almost topped. It did top us out, in fact. Fantastic. Mmm, top us. Let's go with... I need a door for this barracks. Absolutely. Without it, it'll be half the building it once was. Where shall I place the door, Nerd Castle? Where shall I place it? some really athletically inclined animals around here just running around in circles doing all kinds of crazy stuff these people have not been assigned so let's go ahead and go to our overseers menu and we've got four more people to play around with I'm gonna give her no give me another carpenter we've got our farmers taken care of so I don't think we need more farmers on each of those we will need soldiers however now, soldiers are kind of a sticky spot to be in because they don't do anything productive, really, aside from walk around and just make people feel safer. However, with two people here, I'll assign them to the militia, and that means we'll have three people. We'll have an overseer who's going to be the captain, and then we'll have two little brown coats running around doing their thing. Disturbance is at 10. Provisions are sitting at 30. We definitely could use more raw food. I may think about assigning a separate farm, perhaps. I don't know. How are we doing on corn? We've got 28 bushels of maize. We've got four farmers stew. We've got maize chowder. That's looking good. As soon as that tops off, they'll focus almost entirely on farmer stew. So I'm happy with what we got going on right now. I would also suggest that maybe we chop down these trees over here and maybe just clear out a little bit of space so that we have more building room. The barracks has been built, but it has no door. So somebody will hopefully get on top of that very shortly. We've got enough planks to go around. This means that I can now assign an overseer to here. Art of War skill. Do we have anybody that's good at this? Well, Zeus Cordwick, you sound like the kind of guy that can get into a fight. So, the Spectral Coffin, Zeus Cordwick. Zeus Cordwick, now that you're serving Her Majesty, I'll give you a few soldiers under your charge so that everybody feels safer. And you should see them get assigned pretty quickly over here. <laughs> that lady's name is Fanny. And so there he is. You can see that he's put on his little coat right there. Uh, he's poorly fed, which is unfortunate. He feels recklessly endangered. That's probably because he's doomed or whatever, but that should shift in just a moment. We got somebody. Zeus Cordwick is maddened by despair. He acts erratically until he finds solace. Public houses speed up the process. The barracks have been built, and Zeus Cordwick has named the workshop the barracks. He's called it the Spectral Coffin. Does everybody else feel safe yet? It should get better. It just takes time. Yeah, there it goes right there. It just shifted over. And so his brain power should recover momentarily. Unless he's just doomed, and that's like all that it is. He's trying to eat quality food, though, too. So I know I haven't supplied things the best that I possibly could. Oh, shit. We've got no door on that building right there. How about we save that person? Liberate Texar Kiln. I'll put the door right there. That sounds good. That'll allow her to get out. What can I build for this place? So they need an overseer for right there. Unfortunately, I ain't got no overseers to work on this and right here. Stone work and scale seem to be pretty good for Shiloh Uxter. Pearl Lagger seems to be pretty good at it too. Yeah, let's make her a stone worker then. Pearl Lagger, what you got going on as far as Parmelia Knot? Pearl Lagger is working at the ceramics shop all by herself. Okay, when it comes to building things, let's go to the modules here and see if there's anything specific I can do. For here, we can do a ceramics kiln. I'm definitely going to recommend that because we need to make ourselves some bricks. And I'm just going to make two of these for right now. Uh, we're not going to be able to utilize one of them. However, food is on the uptake right now, so we've got enough food to last a couple days. Raw food will last a little while longer. I think we've done a really, really good job. As far as some of our workshops have gone, I think we've done a great job at making sure we're supplying certain things well before threats or anything else start to happen, so that's nice. They'll start sleeping on the floors. She's still working in here. Did I assign an extra person to this? Do I have two people here? Livuetta Sharp. She does have a worker. Oh, I could have assigned somebody to this over here. Okay, make me an assembly workbench very quickly, please. In fact, make me two assembly workbenches, and we'll place those in here. Assembly workbenches are super important. Uh, Pearl Lagger has also gone crazy. Sometimes they go crazy. 
Realistically, they should be all right. Why is Pearl Lagger losing her shit right now? She's poorly fed. She shouldn't be poorly fed. There's plenty of farmer stew around. Do I have 30? Oh, I appear to have hit 30 right there. Very nice. So instead, move that over to farmer stew, please. And we'll just call that like 50 for right now. And they'll try to keep it even on the maze chowder. We don't have that many workers. Like, we have some workers. We got about 10, but... I'd still like to have some extra food for our overseers, because them going crazy every four to five seconds disrupts the general group. And then nobody does any work, and it's just a mess. So as soon as these are done over here, we'll start making clay bricks. Once we have clay bricks, we'll put in, like, I don't know, two middle-class houses, maybe? We'll try to put, like, the rich quarter over here, and we'll keep the poor quarter over here. Because you've got to keep the undesirables away, Mom. Indeed. We can't have them simply mixing class with their superiors. It doesn't work like that. No. It's important to note that for right now, our, um, our... Our soldiers don't have guns. So working on that would probably be a good idea, too. Make me some bricks. Make me some bricks. Make like 30 bricks. So a cube of clay, what does that produce if I do bricks? You get two bricks per one clay. Fantastic. That'll eat up some of that brick supply. Ooh, there's a little bit more to be mine right there. A little bit of iron. A little bit of iron. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Where'd that guy get a gap from? Now doing push up in the bushes. Getting some pushes in the bushes. And we poke them on their tushes. Oh no! Militiamen, fire! Make ready. The beast has retreated. Butcher the corpse. I'll treat that as hunting for right now. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. Wow, it takes a long ass time to blow those little pistols. Although, wasn't it two shots per minute was like considered really, really good in like colonial times? When they had to be like, no, make ready. I'm the devil. Chap with the kills, mates. Like when they were doing all that stuff. I think like two shots a minute was considered like really, really good, or maybe it was three shots a minute. I don't recall. Either way, we just got more meat, so that's pretty sweet. Got more meat. It's pretty sweet. Give me those deets with my cleats. So they're working on farmer stew. Let me go ahead and cancel that order real fast. And I'm going to say just make a ton of sausages. Just do your thing, you know? Make sausages as long as you can make sausages. Albertine Thatch. Everybody needs meat in their diet every now and again. You can't b get by on just vegetables. That ain't right. And Zeus Cordwick has recovered from his intense madness. So that's pretty cool. I'm sure that'll help out. He's got a typical workplace. Okay. So because he's living inside of here, my suggestion would be that we start using these assembly benches that we were constructing. So if we go to our modules, and then we go to the carpentry workshop, you'll see we have assembly workbenches now. And I can put one right there. And I can put one right there. This is not going to be a workplace that they particularly enjoy working inside of. Because there's a lot of clutter and there's a lot of stuff around. However, we'll try to make it work. I mean, I'm desperate for stuff right now. So with this, they're still building planks. The assembly workbenches will be in in just a moment. Paper stacks, apparently. Needed for foreign office. Oh, you can make reams of paper or whatever. That's interesting. We've also got bushels of sausages coming out now. People are producing some food. I want to make sure this doesn't go too far over the edge. Have we gotten our farmer stew in just yet? We have not. But it also appears as though we're having trouble keeping corn in stock, I think. People are going back to sleep. We are going to want to get them some beds pretty soon. That'll help out. Uh, I would also say that we should probably assign... How many planks do I have? 20? should probably assign some windows too, but it'll be a minute. Now that we've got... Oh, those have not been built, actually. This right here, these boxes, you're going to have a lot of these. Get used to that. These boxes are going to be laying around everywhere after a while because they've got self-contained. The game used to allow you to build things just out of straight materials. Now, you prefabricate them. They go into your inventory, and then from there, you take them back and deploy them, essentially. A herd of giant hungry beetles has been spotted in the area. Guard your crops. Okay, so in order to guard our crops, I go here. We click on Rally Squad. Squad! We'll place them right around here and just kind of see what happens. 
Why is there a pie laying in the middle of the field? Where did a pie come from? That's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that fact. Just found a pie in the middle of a field. Weird. And so now we've got bricks, which is very, very cool. We should also be able to get started. The grass and the rocks are singing. The wind blows powerfully through the colony today, letting out an eerie howling, or is it a singing, as it passes through the nearby rocks and grasses. This eerie racket is creeping out your colonists a great deal. Surely we could do something about it. Perhaps if we clear terrain around the colony, we'll quiet this racket. Sure. I mean, I can assign him to it. Ain't no guarantee it's gonna happen anytime soon. Like, if you guys, like, intensely want to clear the area. Give ourselves a bit of a buffer from the crazy voices that come from the grasses. By all means, go for it. We don't really have a lot of general purpose laborers left anymore, though. We need more overseers, which means that I would suggest making an overseer house. I am going to make the rich part of town right here. Kind of segment it out a little bit. And so we'll go like a six by, let's go seven by six right there. Sure, sounds great. And once that's finished off, we'll start worrying about some of the other stuff. And those things are coming through. On one side, they're making us a ton of meat that we can turn into like sausages and all kinds of stuff. On the other hand, it's like they damage my colonists pretty frequently. As far as the sausages go, do we have a lot of those left? Or like, what's going on? Raw opium. Oh, shit. Okay, just in case you want to load that in your pipe and smoke it. They'll take those over to there. Oh, we've got a fish man. Fish men shouldn't bother you, by the way. In general, for now, they should leave you alone. Um, sighting of the fish people. Shiloh Uxter has reported sighting a strange, fishy-looking creature. It walked upright like a human, and its eyes gleamed with weird intelligence. What shall we do? Uh, we're just gonna ignore it. We're gonna we're gonna search it. We're not gonna order him shot on sight because that kicks off a war early on in the game that I don't think I want to deal with. I should also probably clear some of this terrain over here just to get some of that out of the way. Not like they don't already have enough shit to do, but still, there are things to accomplish around, and that'll give us a passive supply of food and other random stuff too. We don't really have a whole lot of spots left for more colonists. We probably want to get on that at some point. Oh my god, that is an enormous beetle. Just that one dude has a gun, huh? No, that dude's got a gun too. They come running out though. They should... Maybe we'll get beetle meat though. You ever ate beetle meat? Ugh, there's another beast over there that needs to be slain. Let's go ahead and butcher that one. What happened over here? Oh my god. They're everywhere. Got all kinds of critters coming in and just messing with us right now. Health is down like everywhere. That person may just bleed out. I don't really know how that's going to play out. It may go well. It may not. We do have a lot of tasks queued up right now though. And unfortunately there are not a lot of people available to do them. Since the bricks are done, what I'll think about doing is I'll take Pearl Lagger out from over there. That'll give us at least another individual who's capable of helping out with stuff. Constructing buildings, we have three people assigned to that group. Farming's fine. In the kitchen, we need that. Farming's fine. The barracks, we do need that as well. So there's not a whole lot of labor that we can reallocate right now in order to make things flow a little bit smoother. And if we need more workers, I I'd like to get overseers too for our next immigration thing. It's probably just the fact that they're bogged down working on this house right now. And then we'll take a module, we'll slap a door on this. And then what we'll need is now that we have assembly benches, planks are being produced. We'll go ahead and how many planks do I have right now? I have, nope, not Albertine Thatch. I've got 13 planks. So on this assembly bench right here, I would say make me a couple of practical beds. Make me a couple practical beds, just to actually, it's two for a cot. Go ahead and make me six cots real fast, and we'll start distributing those among the workers. Now that they've got a higher class place to sleep, they'll be in slightly better moods. 
Like I'll probably go like three to each one of these, like a cot, a cot, a cot, and then we'll put in like decorations and stuff too, so that they're a little bit happier. But when you put cots inside of these, they get bonuses, and then you can put in windows, and you can do a bunch of other stuff. It's definitely something you want to do in order to make people's quality of life a little bit better. The quality right here is plus one, so it's like adequate. One thing I do think needs to be balanced is that cots, they lower the quality of the house to such an extent that it's better to sleep on the floor than it is to have cots. Like, I don't know if that affects something internally on each of these individuals, but... I don't know. Maybe it gets better with time. Farmer stew's being produced over here. Maybe drop that one. We'll go ahead and put maize chowder back on. And we'll tell them to maintain 30 of it, because I think we're probably just about out of food over here. Eh, we got a little bit of maize chowder left, but not a lot. This poor bastard over here just limping around, getting all messed up. So with their health, be regained by visiting the barber. We don't have a barber right now. The singing brings despair. The singing does not abate, driving your colonists mad with its sound. Oh, it closed my window on me because there was combat. Did you guys kill whatever it was? Well, then go ahead and butcher it, too. Gotta make sure we're utilizing all these animals otherwise. Eh, probably not the best usage of our time. And so these are probably cots right here. Yeah, these are box cots. I'm gonna wait for the entire work order to be done before I start fiddling around with stuff. The nice thing about the military, why are you pointing guns at our civilians, man? He's like, ah, give me the cot! Been sleeping on the floor for too long! I'll shoot you! I need comfort! Getting all super hyped about the fact that he's sleeping on the floor. Calm down, nerd. Calm down. It'll be fine. You'll be okay, I promise. So we've got three cots right there. Let's go ahead and get those allocated to our working class places. Probably go like one right there. One right there. If I can get one in right there, that works. Cool. Our first place is basically outfitted. Uh, we'll go back through once we have a few more of our planks stockpiled. Once we've stockpiled a few more planks, we'll go through and we'll try to make it such that we put windows in and then we start putting in decorations and stuff like that so that they're not completely, totally miserable all the time. Because once these cots go in, I can virtually assure you the building quality goes down by a considerable quantity. What's going on over here? How come nobody's working? It's like they loaded stuff in the oven and then they just gave up. Quality of life, driven to despair by the eerie singing. Yeah, there's not much I can do about the eerie singing right now. Like, I'm trying to make a buffer around the city, but it is what it is. And then maybe if we, I mean, I don't really have the workforce right now to be cleaving through stuff like this. We've got a decent buffer at the moment. Make cot six is done. So that means I can add a few more over here. I gotta stop doing that. And there we go, a few more cots. This place is definitely less comfortable. But because we fulfilled one of those, we got plus one to quality of life, so other things to think about there. I would also suggest putting in windows ASAP. Because it's easy peasy. You put in two windows and you get like a free quality of life. So you may as well do it. Put one right there and put one lame ineffectual window right there. So that they can spy on each other. They can stare in each other's windows. Come to my window. I'll be home soon. Alright, so that's getting done, and then a quality of four or better is the next part. Which means that I kind of just need to be loading stuff in there. We should be able to get that to a minus one. Which makes it uncomfortable, I guess, but they're just going to have to live with it for now. We should also supply our military with beds. I think they try to sleep in here, if at all available. I I'm not too positive about that 100% though. So we're sitting on pretty solid foods right now. 
Sausages are getting cooked up, and we're sitting on 21 sausages, so that's fantastic. But for now, we're out of time for the day. This is Clockwork Empires, a sponsored series by me, Splattercat. Uh, if you like the game, check out the link down below. Get the game for yourself. I've always got that annotated for you. I will see you all in future episodes. Hi, do everybody, and I I'm looking forward to it. I think this is going to be pretty sweet. Bye.